Recently I played through a mod of the horror variety and thank god it was made by the same guys that made Cry of Fear because this gives me reason to make this video here. I took both games to compare which one was better which provided more scare. I will start with Afraid of Monsters as it came first and incidentally it is the one I consider to be the worst. The plot twist was obvious from the word go. It was nice of them to add multiple endings though. That said, 3 out of 4 are from the same story arc of David's actions, both gruesome and dark. Only in one ending does he fight his addiction, here it turns out that everything had just been fiction. But enough about the story, what about the game? Does it really deserve the name? The monster variety is not worthy of tales, also the AI turned out to be dumb as nails. And for a horror game this mod is bad at creating tension, it was barely enough to keep my attention. There's too much ammo and monsters are overused. The scares from enemies are automatically diffused. Only the non-lethal jump scares were effective, but then again this might be a matter of perspective. The flashlight could have been used to greater effect, there were just too many batteries to collect. Cause when of light you never run out, there is hardly anything to worry about. Now let's see how Cry of Fear fares, and if it has the better scares. I will once again start with the plot, cause I think here the deaths improved a lot. In terms of story, the developers got smart, especially since they didn't spoil everything at the start. The way of telling the story was completely changed except the multiple endings thing that they kept. The endings were also determined by in-game decision instead of hunting for paper, which was complete derision. Also, the main character is now more than just a plot device. He has some character, so one can sympathize with him, which is nice. Cry of Fear is always filled with tension and there I use this verse to mention that limited supply of ammo and health increases the game's atmospherical wealth. And although I do not want to talk too much smack, Cry of Fear has a fuck ton of tracks to walk back. Locations and set pieces are used multiple times, but either way, for today I'm almost done busting out rhymes. My last verse is addressed directly at you, dear viewer. I want you to take on the role of reviewer. Tell me your thoughts in the comments section, your insight might point me in a new and awesome direction.